Well, you join me in a pretty unfamiliar place for me. Normally when I'm doing any sort of hiking or camping, the first thing I do is head north from where I live. But today I'm actually down south. I'm in a place called Galloway Forest Park and I'm planning to go and visit and explore Tunskeen Bothy. So I'll continue on and I'll tell you a bit more about the Bothy on the way there. Let's go. So, you might have to fact check me on this one, but I think this is actually Scotland's first ever bothy. I think they began construction on it in 1965, so definitely old. I think it's been done up since then, I think I read 1998 or 99. So, I'm interested to see what it's like, see if it's basic or because both these are just all different. Sometimes you get some really basic ones, but then you get some pretty nice ones, but we shall see. I really wasn't sure what to expect today because I've just, I've never been to this area. And the uh, land between where I live and this area is all dead flat and like, just like moorland. And not to say that isn't nice, but I just wasn't sure, but it's actually quite mountainous, like, and loads of forests, wee reservoirs and streams and stuff. It's really, really nice. I'm glad I came here. I was about to say, that was fast, but I think it's just someone's house. Yeah, it's definitely not the Bothy. Nice wee area for a, a house, though. Beautiful. So it's only about seven kilometres, I think, to get to the Bothy. So, pretty easy. And so far I'm just walking along pretty much a road, so it's not going to be too strenuous, I think. Just a, a nice peaceful walk, surrounded by mountains, surrounded by trees. Oh, it's just lovely fresh air. What a place to be. This place is amazing. All the different types of trees. I wish I knew more about it and I could tell you, but it's just absolutely incredible. I always bring my earphones, just intending to listen to a podcast or some music or something like that whilst I walk. But then see as soon as I get out here and I'm just in the environment and I can hear all the sounds of birds and yeah, it's just, I never want to listen to anything else. It's just, it's, it's amazing. Two completely different sides over here. You've got bare trees, which is such a shame. And then over here, luscious and beautiful. See, whenever I stop, I don't know if you can hear that, but I can just, oh, it's so peaceful. I can hear little streams flowing and birds chirping. I could fall asleep to that, that is, that is so peaceful. This place is enormous. That's Loch Recor. I think that's maybe how it's pronounced down there. But I can't believe the size of this place. Absolutely enormous. There are actually a couple Corbett's in the area and the biggest one is called Merrick. I think it might potentially be that one there, but it could be any of those. Not 100% sure. I'll definitely need to come back and do Merrick one day. I think it's about 850 meters. And I think you'd probably get some good views out to the Isle of Man. And I could be talking absolute rubbish, but you might be able to see the tip of Ireland, but it may be too far, so. I wouldn't take my word for it. I'm 
believe I didn't know this was here. You just go from like quite a bit of civilization to absolutely nothing. It's really nice. I don't know if you can see that, but just on the path up there is a couple of deer. Did not expect to see any here. Oh, I'm finally leaving this very nice path and onto the grass. A nice change though. Definitely more cushioned. First view of the body. Tell you what, actually it looks quite nice. River crossings just to get to the body. Always good fun. Quite nice. Don't know if people have left us there or there's people staying here, but it's nice than I thought it was going to be. Quite spacious. Shut this over. Good. Absolutely loads of supplies, don't normally get that many. Can't imagine it sleeps too many. I'd imagine maybe you could probably squeeze in four or five people. But you could always get people on the floor if they really need to. Definitely surprised by this. This is pretty nice. They always impress me, the bothies. I'm always expecting something pretty simple with no real comforts. And I mean it's not it's not that comfortable, but it'll definitely do you if it's poor weather. Loads of stuff if you need it, some tools, some chairs, broom, shovel, all sorts, some saws, chopping wood. Pretty good. I always find it quite cool just looking through this, reading all the people that have been here over the years. Oh, not actually that many, I wonder if there's... That's a fresh book. It'd be interesting to see what this looked like back in 1965. Because obviously they've redone it in 1999 or something like that. So it'd just be interesting to see if it's much different to what it used to be. Take the outside as well, there's a nice bench out there. So yeah, a nice bench to sit and relax, have some food if there's nice weather. And look at the surroundings. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really remote. Gonna get some food and something to drink now. I'm absolutely starving after that walk. That's me had some food now, so I'm feeling refreshed for sure. I think it's pretty much just the same way that I came in that I go back. So another sort of seven and a bit kilometers back to the car. So I think I'm just gonna make a move and get back there whilst it's dry. Let's go. It's absolutely lovely now. It's roasting. Make sure I lock it as well. Let's 
go. This is around the back of the Bothy and as you can see there's some ladders as well. I'm guessing if they're doing some work on it and I mean just amazing views all around. We'll have to come back and stay at some point but for today I'm making my way back to the car. As always, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been really good fun checking out all these bothies and I'm definitely going to continue to do it because it's great ticking them off and seeing what they're all like. If you have, make sure to like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.